Hello and welcome back to my adventure reborn. I hope you guys are doing well and ready to just relax your brains and dive into the world of MapleStory. In this video, we're heading south of Lith Harbor to a tiny island covered in snow and ice, known to very few as Rien. Now after uncovering the truth about the witch in the secret forest of Elodin, I received an urgent message from a young girl huh? named Lilin. Lilin told me that these age-old glaciers of Rien are melting and causing water levels to reach heights previously unseen. Lilin seems to think that this could spell disaster for the people of Rien if they aren't able to come together and find what's truly heating the island. So to do my part, I head to the glacial observatory to meet Putin. Now, I thought this guy was going to be chill, but he what? literally opens up the conversation by saying we look like a sardine with a giant head. I mean, could you imagine getting called that by a fat bearded penguin? What type of, what is this mushroom game? But I'm trying to stay immersed. So I speak to Dachi, who basically says he's willing to lend us his boat to travel Raina Strait if we recover some lumber. And with a couple clicks, I'm back on the island and pushed right up to level 48, just eating up this sweet quest experience. And now capable of traveling the strait, Putin's willing to talk. He tells us that he has spies in the sea who have relayed tales of this frost witch they call Barbara. Now, while the reports are definitely concerning, we know from our experience in Elodin that things aren't always as they seem. After arriving at the port north of the observatory, I meet another penguin named Pushki, who seems well aware of my presence already and seems to think I've built quite the rapport around the island. Now, whatever Pushki is, this penguin is certainly not a warrior, and he tells us he needs our help to clear out monsters around the encampment. Needing the experience, I head out to hunt. Please take a moment to like the video, subscribe, and turn on those notifications to help spread the maple love and grow the channel. I really appreciate you guys watching and love to hear from you. I read every single comment and just love talking with you guys. And shout out to Coppersand. Dude, this guy makes the most incredible YouTube videos. If you guys are looking for some good maple content, I really recommend you check out his channel. So back to Rien, I decide to head out to handle Pushki's request, which requires killing both fish and ammonite grumples. As you guys can see, I was putting out some pro OG DPS, and it is 100% All the way up to level 49 and finished with the kills, I head back to Pushki. It seems that the regional monsters are becoming increasingly hostile, and one of his colleagues is actually trapped at a port to the west. No big deal. When I arrived, I was glad to see it was nothing this hammer could not handle. And when it comes to this damsel in distress, we're introduced to Nora, this astronomical archaeological anthropologist who is studying the permafrost layers in the region. Yeah, try saying that again twice. <laughs> but she says that as soon as she started studying the frost, the fossils sprung to life and attacked her. And luckily, we were there to save the day. But with the wind change report in hand, I headed back to Putin, who bumped us right up to level 50. Let's go, baby. Third job on the way. Literally, the second job skills are already so OP, I don't even need anything new. I had one of you guys comment from Reddit that I should only use Power Strike if I want the series to be truly OG. And like, it's funny because third job is going to be so busted. I speak with Putin and he wants us to investigate with the Malamutes. So I head over to Alvish who's on the other side of Rihanna Strait. He tells us that the Malamutes are struggling greatly because they're keen hunters with an incredible nose. And there's these putrid stench barrels that are just reeking all over the island. Now, I'm guessing that these barrels are likely related to whatever is heating the island. So I investigated and killed about 50 of each, which was a nice EXP bump that simultaneously helps the people of Rien. Now, Putin tells us that he's actually found the area where the witch lives, and with a quick journey across the strait, I'm here, face to face with Frost Witch Barbara. The old hag Barbara was unpleased with our presence to say the least, and honestly seems more like a drug dealer than a witch, offering to push us some sketchy love potions. She also notes that kids with their PQs and level 200s, which makes me think she's a lot older than she lets off. Now, Barbara is completely confused by our allegations that she's an evil witch, and in fact tells us that she's been taking care of the animals of Rien huh? this entire time. So while we thought she was killing the kids, 
She was literally raising them on this island and feeding them as they grow up to become adults. I kept pushing Barbara for more details, but she wouldn't explain any more unless we agreed to help her by catching some fish on the outer areas of the strait. So with Barbara's fishing kit in hand, I headed out to the ocean to catch five big whoppers. <laughs> Luckily, the drop rate on these is crazy. I literally caught five in probably six or seven tries. And with the Whoppers in hand, Barbara was willing to share more information. Now, when I pushed her about the details, she revealed that the people of Rien have always struggled to get along and in fact, hate each other. But when she actually takes the blame and pretends to be this witch living on the island, it gives them a common enemy to hate and gets rid of their fighting. Huh? So she's really this martyr of types because she's sacrificing her personal image so that basically her children can get along. But this stupid f***ing penguin Putin hasn't learned anything. As soon as you tell him, he goes, oh, so I know it's not the witch, it must be the seals. This guy is stubborn as a brick. So I go speak with the seals. And Dabo tells us he can't believe that his seal brothers would ever turn on the island of Rien. But he has seen some weird activity lately and wants us to check it out. So I head to the underwater cave which provides us three maps of incredible EXP. I would actually recommend this map for anyone who wants to train, even if you're not going to finish the quest. Stop by, it's a flat map and it's perfect for a lot of classes. That pushed me right up to level 54, and as you guys can see, the seals actually have these what look like Blackwing members underneath them controlling them with these command books. So I head back to Dabo, who's pleased to find that his brothers weren't acting against the better interest of Rien, but wants us to show Putin the evidence to put the rumors to rest. I also got some mastery books which will prove useful later as I'm trying not to pull too much money or resources from other characters to buy mastery books, upgrade my armor. Not for any reason in particular besides I think it's kind of fun to just use whatever I find. So then I headed back and spoke to Nora. Now she seems to think the bad guys are looking to use the currents under the glaciers <laughs> as some type of super turbine to power their evil agenda and as a result are harming those of Rien. To investigate further, I head to the Glacial Cutter base to speak with Nora, who tells me that the warmer bots nearby are contributing to the heat that is ruining Rien, and that I must take them out. Hammer in hand, I lay down a holy smackdown on these fools, putting down the warmer bots and their frost counterparts. I only needed about 30 kills to collect enough of these glacial fragments for Nora's research, but it only took one look to realize there was something seriously wrong. Unbeknownst to us, Admiral Martini and the Blackwing henchmen were just off the coast of Rien, and with a thirst for death, Admiral Martini was ready to engage. And that's where we're gonna leave it. Until next episode, happy mapling. <laughs>